everybody I'm just doing this door so I thought I'd do a video because it's quite interesting what I'm going to do to this door this is a door for ladies uh, it's like a storage uh, room on the side of her house and she's got this solid oak door and it's got to match some uh, fascia board on the front of the garage so I've sanded it it's got all black on it it's gone quite mouldy so it was a bit of a mess so I've sanded it back and I've deliberately left the V grooves here on the boarding. I've deliberately left those because there was no mould in those. So I've left those so that I can see what colour I've got to get to with the wood that I've sanded. If I'd have sanded all those off then I would have been guessing because I'm not actually on site with the door. I'm doing it here in the weighing shop. So I've been over to uh, Finney's in Chesterfield. So it's uh, my good friend Mark and his wife. That, uh, it's a um, company in Chesterfield called Finnies and they do all different types of finishes. If you want anything to do with finishes, then Mark's your man. So it's supplied me with some of this. Now that what this is, is a water-based exterior varnish. Now this is clear, so that's why it looks milky, as you can see. I can't use clear because if I put clear on, it's not going to go as dark as these uh, grooves. I'm just going to dab a bit on just to show you, just to demonstrate. See, if I put that on there, you can't even see that I've put anything on. So what Mark supplied me with is some of this stuff. As you can see that. What this is, is like a colorant. So it's a dye that I can put in with the varnish to darken it so that I can get to that color. So we're going to have a go now. I'm going to put a little bit in first give it a good shake up then try it and I might have put a little bit more in until we get the colour right to match up to this door so we can get it all matched up so it just looks like a brand new door for the lady. So I've got the varnish, I've got the dye, just going to squeeze a little bit of this stuff in here, not put too much in look, just a little bit, put the lid back on, we're going to give it a good shake up. This doesn't come off because I've got my nice new YouTube coat on from not just t-shirts in Chesterfield. Okay, so as you can see now, that's gone a little bit browner. You see that? Still not quite dark enough, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna want a bit more, so I'm just gonna put a little bit more in. Okay, have a shake up. So I hope you like the coat. Not just shirts in Chesterfield on Derby Road. Derby Road. Okay, let's have a look again. Okay, so we're getting there. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a coat at that because what I can do is if I give it a coat, it's not quite dark enough. I'd always give it another coat just to darken it, but I don't think that's going to be a million miles off when it's dry. Want to let it dry just to see what it dries like so we know how far off we are if it's not quite right but i'm going to get to uh, get my paintbrush and give it a coat like that and then we'll let that dry overnight and then we'll have a look tomorrow but i think that's going to be pretty much bang on <laughs> just one coat and as you can see the colour is pretty much bob on so big shout out to Mark and his good lady at uh, Finnis Wood Finishers in Chesterfield perfect and that just shows you how you can tint you can get a clear varnish and tint it to suit your job and uh, I'm sure the customer when that's had a quick uh, 
clean down with uh, a very fine sandpaper and then a top coat. I'm sure the customer's going to be very happy with that.